Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Today, we are going to read our story, Rough Face Girl, one more time. And this time, we are going to focus on annotating the key details of our story. So remember, we've been learning about key details. We know that a key detail is something that in, is important that happens in our story. So especially in nonfiction stories, key details would be who the characters are, where the story takes place, and important events that happen in the beginning, middle, and end. We're going to do this story in two parts. We'll do pages six and seven together, and then we will do pages eight and nine together. So first you can go ahead and get your close reading booklet out and ready to go. You also need a pencil or a pen or a highlighting tool to work to use for your annotating. Now, if you're using the online version in Benchmark, remember we have tools here. I can click on this. Today, I'm going to choose a pen. I can decide how thick I want it to be and the color. I feel like using blue today. And we're ready to get started. So we're going to pause it after each paragraph. And then I'm going to explain to you what I think is important and what we should highlight. So let's get started. Short read one. Remember to annotate as you read. Rough face girl. Many moons ago, there lived a brave warrior. He was called the Invisible One. No one could see him except his sister. He pledged to marry the first woman who could see him. Okay, so I'm going to pause right there. In this paragraph, we learned of two characters. We know one's name is the Invisible One, and we know that he has a sister, but we haven't learned her name yet. And sometimes in stories, we don't learn names of characters. I'm also going to put a star here because I think this is an important part. It's telling us that he pledged to marry the first woman who he sees, who can see him because he's invisible. So that I feel like will be a key detail as we learn more about our story. So let's continue. Nearby, there lived a man with two daughters. The elder daughter was callous and cruel. The younger, called Rough Face Girl, was gentle and kind. Rough Face Girl worked hard. She tended the fire. It made her face rough and chapped. Her idle sister did nothing. One day, idle sister announced, I want to marry the Invisible One. She hurried to his wigwam by the lake. Okay, so we learned of two other important characters. There's a daughter and another girl named Rough Face Girl. We're not sure in this paragraph of the other sister's name yet, but we know from reading it before that they refer to her as idle sister. And I think that this is an important part because she's saying she wants to marry the invisible one. So she's going to his wigwam to see if she is special enough to marry him. So on these two pages, we've learned of the invisible one and his sister, rough face girl, and her sister, and two important details that the invisible one is waiting to see who he is going to marry based on who can see him. Great job. We're going to pause here, and then we'll pick up with pages eight and nine.